to members of the media, and once again, we apologize for the technical difficulties that we had um, before, but we thank you for joining us this morning for a press conference on COVID-19 from the Democratic Labour Party. With me this morning, I have President Verla de Pisa and also our spokesperson on tourism, um, former Minister Richard Seeley. And I am Andrea Worrell, Vice President of the Democratic Labour Party and spokesperson on health. We've called this press conference today because we recognize that Barbados is under siege as a result of COVID-19. The Delta variant is taking the lives of our loved ones, making thousands of others sick with untold suffering and hardship. Our current COVID-19 death rate stands at 124 persons. 116 of those deaths occurred in 2021, and with 75 related to the current surge which started from just around July this year. It does not matter if those persons were vaccinated or unvaccinated, these are our loved ones, our grandparents, our aunts and uncles, someone's neighbor, co-worker or friend. Is enough being done to protect the lives of Barbadians, especially the elderly? And that is the question that we are putting out to the government and for you, the people of Barbados, to also address for yourself today. We are also on the seas because the government fails to act. The government refuses to take recommendations from the Barbados Association of Medical Practitioners. The government talks about following the science, but is held bent on on, on following the business lobby. The government is hell-bent on also following what is pub public opinion, rather than making the hard decisions and providing the leadership that is important at this time. We are concerned about the laissez-faire approach of the Motley administration to the management of the COVID-19, which has resulted in the Delta variant. Now, I will just share some statistics with you. For the month of October, we've had a positivity rate rising from 11% in the first week, seven-day average in the first week, to 12% in the second week, and now it is trending towards going towards 13% in the third week, which will come to an end roughly uh, on Friday or Saturday. And even in this third week, we are seeing averages as high as 16% positivity rate, but yet still we are not seeing any interventions from the government. We have an uh, attitude from the government that they're just going to let COVID take its course. And unfortunately, that means that our elderly are at risk. Families are in mourning and in suffering, and this concerns the Democratic Labour Party, and we are urging the government to take some action. Now, if we follow the science, we must lean on the best available advice of the doctors. We must let the public health experts lead in public crisis. If we are, if we are to have our livelihoods and if we are to have our economy safe as well, we must stop the devastation of COVID in weakened communities across this country. We are concerned about the strain which is being placed on the healthcare system. You've heard the doctors complaining. The chief medical officer more than two weeks ago described the situation as dire for the healthcare system. We know that they have implemented the home isolation program and now to take some of the pressure off of the isolation facilities and know that we know that that program has its flaws as well because persons have been waiting for days or even for weeks. Some people have even been forgotten in the system. They're not getting the type of treatment that they ought to get, the type of feedback, because our healthcare system does not have the capacity to deal with over 4,000 people in isolation. And this is not just 4,000 individuals, but you also heard the business sector complain as well, because it is a whole household that more or less is quarantined. So if the businesses are not locked down, Altogether, doors are constantly closing one by one across Barbados. The President of the Chamber of Commerce described this dire situation earlier this week when he mentioned that there are burden in terms of HR shortages because persons who are in isolation, one family member, and you have other people, workers who have to stay at home, who cannot come out, and yet still they have 
to meet the wage bill for all of these things as well. This calls for serious intervention. Something better needs to be done for all Barbadians. You cannot treat COVID with PR. You need to apply some medical advice to COVID. The DLP knows that it requires a balance and a balance of what doctors say is required with the ability to earn a living. Well, if we are to follow the science, if we are to save the economy, we first need to solve the immediate